Before this video begins, I would like to thank AOA.com for sponsoring this video. Use the coupon code HIMR to get 3% off of runes and items in the game. You can get all kinds of powerful weapons and armor for low low prices and fast delivery times. Hello, welcome back to a new Elden Ring build video. So today I want to share my cannon gun shield playstyle. Now you wouldn't think that in a game like Elden Ring that there would be guns or cannons in the game, but there is actually one way of getting a kind of handgun cannon sort of weapon. Allow me to introduce you to the one-eyed shield. It's just a shield with a hole in the middle which has a miniature hand cannon that you can fire projectiles from. And as an avid fan of muskets and gunpowder powered projectiles, I think this is one of the coolest weapons in the game. As you can see it is a great shield and it requires 36 strength to use and it deals massive fire damage. It also scales with strength but even if you have loads of strength I notice that the damage doesn't really go up that much. The best way to boost the damage that this cannon deals is number one by upgrading it at the blacksmith to as high of a level as you possibly can and then using talismans and incantations that boost fire damage. So as you can see, the damage this shield cannon does is absolutely insane. You can one shot almost every high level mob in this area and maybe two or three shots some of the tougher enemies. It also has a knockback effect. So if enemies are nearby a ledge, you can actually blow them off the ledge and then they fall down. Now the range isn't the best on this weapon, but if you do have the high ground, it's quite good because you can just shoot off the edge and then it falls down quite a distance. But if the enemies are quite far away, you have to get fairly close to them for the projectile to actually hit them. And as you'd expect from a cannonball, it does have an AoE effect, so if there's a group of enemies bunched up together, you can take them all out in just one shot, which is pretty cool. So in order to get this shield, you want to go to the snowy area in the map and go to Giant's Grave Post, and then go across the Giant Chain to Guardian's Garrison. And then just make your way towards the little fort and you want to go straight inside, turn left, go up the ladder and then start going upwards and jump over the ledge and there's like a secret walkway that goes around a tower. And then when you get right to the top, there should be a few dogs and a mini boss and the mini boss is using the shield and he's quite easy to take down and that's where you get the shield from. For the talismans, the ones that I found works the best was number one, Shard of Alexander. And this greatly boosts the attack power of skills and since Flame Spit, which is the name of the skill from the shield, is a skill, then it boosts the attack power of that skill. And we also have Radagon Sword Seal just to boost attributes a little bit. And we have Ritual Sword Talisman to boost attack power even more when our health is at maximum, which it should be most of the time. I'm not sure why raising attack power seems to increase the damage of Flame Spit, but it does quite a lot. And we also have Fire Scorpion Charm, which raises fire attacks. And since Flame Spit does fire damage, this is going to be really useful. And to boost the damage even more, we're going to be using Commander's Standard and use that skill called Rallying Standard, which boosts damage even more. And then you can also do Flame Grant Me Strength, which boosts your fire damage, and also the Wondrous Physic Mix, which has a fire boosting. And using this combination of skills and incantations and talismans, you'll be able to do insane damage. Watch how you can just one-shot this Clean Rock Guardian, which are usually quite tough to take down. Now I haven't tried this on any bosses yet because I kind of ran out of bosses after defeating all of them so I need to start a new game to test it properly. But I think it might do quite well on certain bosses especially if you have if you have some kind of tanking summon. Those five shielded skeleton things are quite good at tanking. You really need to have your summon tank the boss whilst you just shoot with your shield otherwise you won't be able to get any shots off. I'd say the main problem with this shield is the fact that it takes quite a long time to get off a shot and you can easily be interrupted if the enemy is quite aggressive. Also it takes up quite a lot of focus points and if you don't have many FP points then you'll find yourself running low on mana quite quickly. It also seems to drain your stamina bar quite a lot so you can only get off about two shots before you have to back off and let the stamina go back up again. So it might not be the most effective or efficient way of going through the game but it is pretty fun to mess around with. If you're like me and you've played the game way too much and you're kind of bored using simple weapons like swords and axes and spears then it's kind of fun to try out these alternative weapons. Hope this video was interesting or useful. Thanks for watching and goodbye.